Well, that's, it's on your live? live? Hey, we're live. We're on the stream. I'm testing out this Twitch thing. Um, I don't believe there's going to be a lot of people watching this, but that's fine. I got this Aurora R6 rig right here. I got some RAM sticks. I'm going to do an update. So pretty much um, the goal of this uh, live stream is to update this RAM. And also at the end, if you stick around, I'm going to do the... Uh, the Tribal Hackers Red Team contest. I know you guys have been waiting for it. I uploaded that probably three weeks ago um, on the YouTube. So let's get started. I have my lovely, it's a fiance. She's doing the camera work today for me. Yeah, so um, so check this out. I got this, this video screen here so you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can zoom in to 16. Right now I have 16 gigabytes on there. I'm hoping it's one stick, a uh, one stick of 16 gigabytes so i did a few i did some research prior to getting these things here i bought three 16 gigabyte sticks um, these are from crucial.com it's a dope website you can go there uh, they have most of the models you just go through the little search thing and find the model for your computer if you want to do a ram upgrade um, so i bought three 16s i am assuming i have a one 16 gigabyte stick in here um, after doing research, I have four, I found out I have four slots, and this specific motherboard takes as a, as a max 64 gigs, so um, that's like 16 each times you know 16 times four 64 gigs. Um, I'm hoping there's just a one 16 gigabyte stick. If not, there might be some issues. But I'm gonna open this here live for the first time. I've never looked inside of this thing. I've had it for about two years. I got my screen here. Um, just so I can test it. Once I'm done, I put the RAM in, start it up, hopefully it boots up, and then I can test, uh, you know, take a look and see if the 64, 64 gigabytes took. Um, because if you turn around and look at the studio, this, this guy comes from all the way down in the bottom of that. And I'm not going to take it back there and stick them in and, and plug everything back up just to test it, and it might not boot. So about 10 years ago, I, did, I built a rig, and I upgraded RAM, and I had many issues with it. So I learned my lesson, so I got everything I need. So uh, what I'm gonna do is first power this off, turn it off, unplug everything, do a shutdown, unplug this, unplug the power, unplug the keyboard, unplug the mouse, and then we can start digging in this, getting it open and, and plug this RAM in. So I think that is all. Um, let's unplug this. We can put this away for now. Uh, unplug definitely want to unplug the PC do not open a PC at ever all anytime um, with the power on so we're just going to unplug this put this to the side take the mouse and the and the keyboard away get my little drink This is tea, sweet tea. So, I got my screwdriver. Apparently there's one screwdriver or one screw to take out and then a few switches. So we're gonna do that here. This should be hopefully simple. I'll, I'll, hopefully I won't make a fool of myself. If not, I can always delete this. Right, no oh, don't lose your screws. I've done that plenty of times. Uh, so they got these latches put up to unlock, put up to unlock. I believe that's, that's it. And this, oh, this should slide open. Oh, here we go. And we got some movement now. You never want to force anything or like try to like Debo it because you don't know what you're going to break. So there we go. Okay, we got the case off. Um, and from, oh, we have a little instructional thing here. I did that. And this pulls out. This is the, the power supply. Apparently this is supposed to pull out. Maybe there's a switch here. As I stated, I've never done this before. Start pulling on something. There we go. 
This slide's open, right? Yeah, the slide is open. Yeah, this slide's open. I really hope. Oh, okay. All right. So I don't know if you can see. Let me turn it sideways. So it looks like we got two sticks. So that's um, two eight, two eight gigabyte sticks to make sixteen. So we might be doing a little bit of. Uh, can you see? We might be doing some experimentation here. So I'm from my from my understanding of RAM and uh, upgrades. This is supposed to open more. You always want to have the same uh, amount of RAM per stick. So I was assuming that this would have a one 16 gigabyte stick, but it seems to have two eight gigabyte sticks. Um, so. I may have to buy another one of these, another 16, so I can have 64. Um, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in, I'm gonna take out one of those and plug in three of these and see if I can get, uh, so what's 48 plus eight? 56. I'm gonna see if I can do 56 gigs. Um, so from my experience 10 years ago when I did this, um, you know, I did a lot of research and best practice is to always have the same amount of RAM in a stick. Um, never alternate, you know, like have a two and a four and a six and an eight. Um, I don't know if that's changed in 10 years, but I guess all we can do is just plug this in and try. Um, I really wish this was, so I did, I, I did some research before and I saw other people had, or other people that had the Aurora R6 had a one sixteen gigabyte stick. And I assume that I would have the same thing, but I don't. Um, so since we're here, I guess we could play around. I can plug plug two of these things in, you know, start it up. I got the screen, I got the keyboard ready, and just see if it works. Um, which really sucks. I really wish I could just do the 64 gigs, but I guess this is part of the live web streaming thing. So, um, what do you think? Should I just plug in two 16s? Plug in two 16s and, and try it? Oh, okay. Touch the case. You don't want static electricity. I'm standing on carpet too, so I'm just touching the case. I probably should have took my watch off. Let me take this, this stupid watch off. It's not gonna help me. Um, I really wish it was just one 16 gigabyte stick. All right. Um, or, you know, what I could do is I can just take out one and then plug these three and see if um, if 56 will work. I just know, I mean, this, this, this could change. This could have changed. You know, motherboards are finicky when it comes to this RAM stuff. So I'm going to take out, I'm going to try this. I'm going to take out one 8 gigabyte. I'm going to take out the first one, and I'm just going to throw three uh, 16 gigabyte ones in and pray for the oh yeah static touch the case don't get shocked don't shock your board static electricity is not your friend fuck okay don't do it like that but okay so that's an eight gig I probably should have opened this and then bought four 16s but um is a 16. I didn't see how it uh, came out. So bef before you do this, you gotta open up the these little slot things. I'm just gonna open these up. You know what else? I might also be safe just doing the three 16s instead of throwing in an, an eight with, with them. We'll see. Uh, we go. Let's try this. You never want to force it. You just want to seed it. And if it doesn't go in, just turn it around. Make sure. These things are like the old Nintendo cartridges. They just, they're supposed to go in there nicely. And then you push 
once that thing comes back down. Son of a bitch. Let me try this one. I've done this probably one, one other time in my life. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. It's, oh yeah, I'm fucking this up. There we go. There it is. The slots have to line up. There we go, that's gonna go on like that. There we go. All right, so that's one down. I'm gonna help tonight, messing this thing up. Did you want to do it? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Can I try it? You want to try one? But I guess you can see, like, someone who has zero experience. Um, yeah, you just got to. It be easy. Yeah, this, this part is really easy. It's, it's just getting the right RAM. So I didn't talk about the type of RAM. So this is, this is a 16 gig. Uh, DDR24, oh no, DDR, DDR4, 2400 megahertz, UDIM, there's like UDIM, there's SODIM, there's other DIMs, there's like Hadouken, there's all types of DIMs, uh, but you want to make sure you get the right DIM <laughs> for your system, uh, so, <laughs> if it don't work, that's probably going to be why. This thing works. All right, let's see. It's the last one. Okay, so I'm putting three 16s, and then I got an eight on one of the eights that it came with. I really wish it came with a 16. Um, all right, so I just installed three 16 gigabyte sticks. And then I kept one of the eight gigabyte sticks. Um, now I'm gonna test it. I don't wanna like really close up everything and, and do all this crazy stuff. So, can I close this? I could just close this part. I'm gonna close this part, plug everything back, turn it on. I just want to get it into a semi, semi operating state, not with it wide open. There we go. All right, so here we go. I can turn it on while it's open. Um, I'm not gonna touch anything or mess with anything in there for sure. Um, boot it up and hope that I see 56 gigs. Watch the news. This thing is falling. Plugging in my HDMI. That's my word for it. I know it's HDMI, but I call it HDMI. Plug in the keyboard. Uh, grab my mouse. Get the power cord. We're gonna plug this bad boy in. And if you don't mind praying with me. So there's a chance it won't boot up at all. And if it doesn't, we know why. Um, put the power button here. We're gonna watch the screen. Oh, turn turn the screen on. Give it a, give it a. I probably fucked my shit up on on the way on live, <laughs> live Twitch. I probably have to delete this video for sure. Okay, we don't got a picture yet. Oh, spoke too soon. Hey, let's see. Mm. The amount of system memory has changed. If you're not changing your memory, try to no to strike the F1 key. F1 to run setup. No, we just want to boot up. F1 key to continue. Hey, we might we might be in something. This might have worked. 
And then I'll just buy another 16 gig some other time and just replace that last one. Whew. Jesus, take the wheel. All right, we have a login. I might have did something right, finally. There's the screen, Bunny Flocks is up. It, so it recognized the RAM, it seems like. It's boot up to Windows. There's a Discord opening up. I'm gonna open up my computer, do properties. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? This is the moment of truth. I mean, I say truth. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. Hey, look at that. You can't see it. I got 56. It took 56 gigs right here. Can you see? It's a installed memory RAM, 56 gigs. It's too bright. Trust me, it worked. It worked. So, I got 56 gigs. I wanted 64. Um, maybe next paycheck I'll buy another 16 so I can just do that part. But we have successfully upgraded the RAM. The computer did not blow up. It's working. I have now upgraded from 16 RAM to 56. That was pretty quick. It actually took a lot quicker than I thought it was. So what I'm going to do now is quickly um, open up uh, my YouTube and pull up that video because we're going to do the contest. The contest for uh, the Red Team Hackers. Hackers of Red Team. So, and then what's that website? Uh, comment picker. What? Yeah, I know. You can't type through all these wires. All right, so one second. Let me plug in this. Paste. All right, so I'm running the contest for the for the red team tribe of hackers. Um, We start the raffle, pick a random winner. I'm gonna hit the start button, and if you commented hashtag red team, tribal hackers red team, you win the book, I'll send you the book. Hey, okay, we got a winner. A. Kennerson, he said congrats. Uh, and then he commented tribal hackers red team. So, A. Kennerson, I don't know if you can see, probably not. A. Kennerson, you won the book. I'll reach out to you, um, get your information, send you that book over, and then I'll start another contest probably on my next video. Um, appreciate you guys. My first Twitch slash YouTube live. Um, upgraded the RAM. It worked. 56 gigs is in here. Can't wait to start using it, using, using it on videos. Uh, hopefully I can open up more virtual machines because the reason I wanted to upgrade is uh, if I started anything more than one VM, the computer would just die. And also I'm a Chrome user, so if you're a Chrome user, you know how that works. Um, but I'm glad you guys can share this with me. We're here, upgraded my RAM, did the contest. I don't have anything else to talk about, um, but maybe see you next time. And uh, thanks for, for viewing liking, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks to my camera woman. You wanna turn the camera on yourself? Yeah, you do, just say hi. <laughs> Yay, there she is, okay. All right guys, thanks, appreciate you. Gonna end stream.